Indians with similar cultural patterns associated together in what was known as the Creek Confederation. There were approximately 18,000 Creeks in a large area that was bounded by the Tennessee. Some of the younger Creeks had been influenced by Tecumseh, who had paid a visit to them. The Americans built a number of forts along the Creek border. On August 30, 1813, the Creeks, under the leadership of William Weatherford, known as Red Eagle, attacked the fort. They were able to enter the open gate of the fort. After a fight that lasted the whole afternoon, they had captured the fort and killed 400 of the 500 persons there, including women and children. The Creeks lost 300 warriors in the attack and, of course, doomed themselves to severe retribution. General Jackson then led the Tennessee militia to attack the Creek. Their first target was a hostile Creek village of Talashachi. Jackson detached General Coffee to destroy it. On November 3, 1813, Coffee encircled the village, killing all 186 warriors in the town, while losing only five men killed and 41 wounded. Next, in a short battle where Jackson came to the aid of the friendly Creek village of Talladega, 290 Creeks were killed. Jackson was now forced to move to defensive positions, as nearly all of his men returned to Tennessee, calculating that their enlistments were up. General Claiborne of Georgia led a force all the way to the Creek Holy Ground. He reached there on December 23, 1813. In a brief battle, he scattered the warriors and burned down 260 houses, but a shortage of supplies forced him to leave the Creek homeland. After Jackson received a new group of 800 recruits, he decided to move forward once again. For the first time, the Creeks decided to attack first. At daylight on the morning of January 22, 1814, near the town of Emakfa, the Creek struck. The attack was eventually broken, but not before a number of Tennesseans fell, including Jackson's brother-in-law. General Coffee was also wounded. Jackson had no choice but to withdraw. During the withdrawal, the Indians attacked once again on January 24th, but were once again driven off. Now Jackson waited for reinforcements. When they arrived, he had an army of nearly 4,000. He thus began his advance to the Creek Holy Ground. The Creek warriors had taken up defensive positions in an earthworks built around Horseshoe Bend of Tallapoosa River. Jackson saw it for what it was, a deadly slaughterhouse for the Indians, and ordered an immediate attack. Jackson first fired cannons at the camp, followed by an attack by Coffee's men. Before long, 700 warriors were dead, at the cost of 26 of Jackson's men. The way was open to the holy ground. When he arrived, Red Eagle surrendered.